So maybe wondering what the use of the triple product is, because it seems like kind of an arbitrary operation that we take on three vectors. We already know the dot product at this point, and we already know the cross product. So the triple product is pretty cool, because it tells us it's going to give us a signed volume of what's called a parallel piped spanned uh, or defined by the given three vectors. So say we're given three vectors, A, where it has three components, A1, A2, A3, B, B1, B2, B3, and C is equal to C1, C2, C3. So I just have, for example, here we have the A vector here, B here, C here. It defines, as long as these vectors are linearly independent, they define this parallel pi pad, which is kind of this box that's just slanted to the side. Um, and this quantity here also to note is going to be theta, which is the distance between uh, C and A cross B, which will be kind of important later, but not super important, but cool to know. Uh, so we have the parallel piped defined by these three vectors here. What we're going to do when we're going to take the triple product, also known as a box product, because it kind of looks like you're taking the volume of a box, uh, is going to be here. We're, we're, we're setting up, just like we had the cross product, where we're setting up this matrix with the three vectors in it, and then we're going to take the determinant of that matrix. Um, so Another way that you could kind of figure out that, that this is the case here, that this matrix holds, is you could just start by going, okay, so first, for example, if we have A cross B dot C, we set up the matrix of I, J, K, B1, B2, B3, and then we take, or A1, A2, A3, we take the cross product of A and B, and then we dot it with C. But if we do that enough times, it becomes pretty clear that what's happening is just this. It's just this. So this, we're, we're essentially just taking the determinant of the matrix with the components of the three vectors laid along the rows. So assuming you know determinant already, because we're going to need the determinant in order to take, you know, to find the triple product here. So if we have A dot B cross C, which is equal to, as I noted here, A cross B dot C, this kind of circular property here we have, uh, we can just set up easily this matrix like this. We have A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, and C1, C2, C3. And then we just take the determinant of that. So it's going to, it's going to be important to note that our result for the, our result for the uh, triple product here is going to be a scalar. And we should definitely get a scalar because we get, if we get a vector, something went seriously awry along the way. And uh, because we're looking for the volume, and volume is going to be a scalar. And it's important to note here, again, that we have signed volume. So it's going to be either positive or negative. And if we want just the regular volume, we can take the magnitude of the triple product, and that will give us the uh, actual volume, not the signed volume. OK, so finally, it's kind of a cool product here, a cool property we have here uh, is just as we had some way to define theta in the dot product and the cross product, we also have some way to define theta um, with the triple product. So theta here is the distance between A cross B, or is the distance in radians here between A cross B and, um, and the vector C. So we can find this quantity here, theta, we can find this angle here, theta, using the following formula. Uh, where we have theta is equal to the arc cosine or inverse cosine of a cross b dot c, which is just this up here. Um, no need to take magnitude here. And then in the denominator, we have magnitude of a cross b, so magnitude of this vector here, all times the magnitude of c, which is this vector there. And that will give us theta, the angle between a cross b and c. So those are some cool products of some cool properties of the dot product of the uh, excuse me triple product. And just once again, it's important to note that. Geometrically, what's happening when we take the triple products, we're finding the signed volume of the parallel piped defined by the three given vectors. To return to the vector menu, click here. To see more additional practice problems worked out, you can click here. So to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click this link here. To visit our website, click here. And finally, to return to the main menu, click this link here. And remember, if you haven't already done so, you can purchase the pre-calculus blueprint by clicking on the link in the description of this video. Remember, it's only $1.95. Thank you for watching.